Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're in the market for advice, you know how expensive these things can get. Um, that's why I decided to make one for less than 10 bucks. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. If you like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic, for more DIY and tinkering videos. If you didn't believe me at the start, you can clearly see from the screenshot that even a small 5 inch vise from Amazon is over 100 bucks. But don't let money be the only reason you do this project. Uh, if you're new to welding or metalworking, this is a great project to practice and build your confidence. Okay, that's enough persuasion for now. Let's get this build started. Like most great adventures, this one also started off at Harbor Freight, where I went in and I bought an 8 inch seat clamp. This was about 7 bucks after the coupon. And this is the only real major purchase of this whole build. The frame of the vise will be made from bed frames. Uh, bed frames are a great source of cheap metal. Um, I often get them for free off of Facebook Marketplace. And I like to keep a stockpile of bed frames on hand for projects, projects just like this. An additional benefit of using bed frames, aside from the cost, is that you probably keep these from going to the landfill. Um, anyways, after I gathered the bed frames, I cut three 12 inch segments. After that, I formed the three 12 inch bed frame pieces into a I formation as this will serve as the foundation of the vise. Um, these little red magnets really help keep the pieces uh, straight and at a 90 degree angle. Um, if you're curious, I'm using a Chicago electric flex core welder. Um, the setting is set to max current with a wire speed of 4.5. After the base of the vise had been welded, I grounded down the parts of the clamp that were going to be welded to the base. I set the clamp into the base and uh, began the longest weld of my life. Uh, it tells you that I haven't been welding for all that long. Um, I wanted this weld to be uh, nice and strong, so I gave it a couple of passes um, because this is probably the most crucial weld in the entire build. And at the end, I was fairly happy with the result. Then I proceeded to cut three more 12 inch pieces of bed frame. Then I cut the screw that's inside the seat clamp and go ahead and save this as this will come in handy later. And uh, ignore the bed frame piece that's welded on to the end of the screw that was a earlier design of this project that I had to change. Then place one of the 12 inch pieces of bed frame onto 
the, one of the ends of the seat clamp and make sure it's level, then clamp it into place and weld it onto the frame. Uh, then go ahead and uh, do that um, to the other side of the clamp as well. For the mechanism of the vise, I used this old scissor jack I had laying around from a car I sold. Um, if you don't have this laying around, which chances are you don't, um, you can pick these up for a couple bucks at any salvage yard as they often take these out um, prior to uh, parting out or crushing the cars. Once you get your scissor jack, uh, go ahead and weld on the third 12 inch section of bed frame to the top of the jack. After welding on the 12 inch piece of bed frame to the scissor jack, I realized that it wasn't perfectly level. However, this is just the way that scissor jacks are designed. Um, to offset this, I added a couple of pieces of filler metal to the side of, of the clamp that, or the vise that the scissor jack was going to be welded to. Then I placed the scissor jack into the vise and tightened it so that it would go all the way to the top and made sure everything was level. Then I welded the scissor jack to the frame of the vise. The weld across the front of the scissor jack and onto the vise was a bit of a challenge because there was a gap that needed to be bridged. Um, it didn't come out looking all that great, but uh, I think it'll do the trick. Um, and this is what the vise looks like when it's all welded together. Then I grinded down the vise with my angle grinder and uh, I sprayed it with a paint and a primer spray designed for uh, metal surfaces. I was happy by the way it looked after a couple of coats of paint. After I got the vise all painted, I got the screw that I had originally cut out of the seat clamp and put it into the scissor jack. Um, and I added a nut to the end. Um, if you want this to be a mechanical vise, then go ahead and uh, weld that nut to the end of the screw. But uh, in one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to be transforming this into a motorized or a power vise. Um, so I'm not going to weld it, but uh, make sure you stay tuned for that as uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. The finished vise is 5 inches in width. Um, to test out the vise, I uh, clamped on a 2x4 and I drilled a hole through it. Um, and it seemed to work uh, really well.
if you're worried about securing the vise into place, go ahead and tack weld a angle bracket onto each corner. I will do this after I add the motor to the vise in one of my upcoming videos. That's it for this build. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to stay tuned to see how I add a motor to this vise.